A 50-year-old woman is undergoing a craniotomy for an aneurysm clipping. Suddenly, the low-pressure alarm in the anesthesia machine is activated. When you look at the oxygen pipeline pressure gauge, you notice that the pressure has fallen to zero. How would you manage this situation? In this situation, one should call for help and inform the surgical team. Open the backup oxygen e-cylinder on the anesthesia machine and check the tank pressure. If the tank is empty, open the second tank if available, or replace it with a new one. You may have to ventilate the patient with a back bath device using another oxygen tank or room air if necessary. As a last resort, you may have to use mouth-to-tube ventilation. When using the oxygen cylinder backup supply, remember that some mechanical ventilators are powered with oxygen pressure. To conserve oxygen, you may have to use manual ventilation. Consider the administration of intravenous anesthetics until the situation is resolved. What are the possible causes of an interruption in operating room pipeline oxygen supply? There are a variety of possibilities, including depletion of the hospital's oxygen central supply and disruption of the pipeline from the central supply to the operating room. It is also possible for the operating room shutoff valve to be turned off or for failure of the connection from the anesthesia machine to the wall outlet. In addition to the audible low pressure alarm, what other indications of low oxygen pressure would be evident in the anesthesia delivery apparatus and the monitoring system? If nitrous oxide is being used, its flow would be interrupted, provided the failsafe system is properly working. The oxygen flush valve would not work, and pneumatically powered ventilators would stop working. Other consequences may include a collapsed reservoir bag, apnea alarm activation, changes in the capnogram, and a decreased oxygen saturation.